Hey, welcome back to Genesis Custom Savers. I'm Rob, and this is Nathan. And we're going to try to destroy some lightsaber blades today uh, using the prototypes of my new stunt saber and these blades. One of them is a Custom Saber Shop uh, thick wall blade, one is a Custom Saber Shop thin wall blade, and we're going to put them to the test to see how well they stand up, and we're actually going to try to break them. Yes. Okay, so normally you'd stick a blade in here and tighten it up with just really tight finger pressure. Uh, and that would be great for normal dueling. What we're doing today, not normal. So I'm going to use the Allen key and I'm going to tighten a little bit tighter just so that this thing is not coming out of here. Okay, let's go. Oh, by the way, it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Okay, so just for reference, uh, Nathan's got a Ascend stunt saber with uh, four AAA batteries and a Master Replicas sound card in it and a red LED. And what I've got is a, an Ascend stunt saber with a green LED and uh, a single lithium ion battery and an experimental sound card. Okay, let's see how these do. We're not, this is not choreographed fighting. We're just testing blade strength, so don't judge our fighting style. Okay, that's about normal dueling. Now we'll try it a little bit harder. Okay, quick inspection. The tips are where you're going to really notice cracks or the tips flying off. So far, so good. Let's try it even harder. <laughs> yeah, so far, so good. Ah, start to notice a little bit of bend in my thin wall blade. Let's check yours out. The thick walled blade, doing a little bit better. Okay, so this is the part where we are going to hit these things as hard as we physically can. May not come across on the, on the camera, but this is basically as hard as we are able to, to hit these blades, and we're going to do our best to smash them. Uh, okay, you go first. Whoa, okay, so far so good. Well, that one bent, but they did not break. So this is the thin wall blade. As you can see, the tip is perfectly intact. Didn't take any damage, no cracking. It hasn't separated and flown off. Get further down the blade and you can see that's where the blade finally gave in and folded. Um, and that was only on the most dramatic, hardest swings possible. Um, it's not even straight anymore. Uh, so that's gonna obviously need to be replaced. Now let's take a look at the thick wall blade. As you can see, the tip is uh, perfect condition. Get down the blade and you see a couple of scuff marks but there's no creases. I'll show you that by lighting it up. The light's good at exposing any folds or bends. Yeah, that blade is perfect. Well that was fun. That was a blast. I don't know that I've ever hit a lightsaber that hard in my life. Maybe on a snowman once. No, not even that hard. So what was your, uh, what was your impression? Uh, I'm impressed on uh, how much how much beating these uh, blades can take, uh, especially yeah. the, the thick walled. The thick walled blade is, um, except for a couple of scuff marks, is exactly like it was before we started this experiment. Yeah. And as you can see, the thin wall blade uh, didn't fare so well. Um, but keep in mind, this damage never took place until we really started to wail on it. So uh, that proves again that these things are pretty good for uh, for moderate dueling, but for the heaviest dueling, you definitely want the thick wall blades. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, and one other thing that's important to note, uh, while the blades uh, can take a beating, um, now you will remember I used the Allen key to tighten these guys in here. You tighten them, you loosen them off, the blades are changeable, these metal hilts aren't going anywhere. So those are pretty tough savers. Thanks for watching.